Hey everyone, this is DHTV, and today I'm going to be showing you how to connect the Elgato Game Capture HD to the PlayStation 3, the Xbox One, as well as the Xbox 360. This is going to allow you to create game captures. Now, if you don't have it, I will link you in the description down below. You can pick one up for yourself or get reviews and see more information. But basically what you're going to need for this obviously is a console, you're going to need the cables that came with the Elgato Game Capture, and you're also going to need either a PC or a Mac. And keep in mind that when we connect the Elgato Game Capture, it's going to be using the power from your PC, so it's probably a good idea to keep it plugged in if you're using a laptop. Anyway, let's get started with the setup. Alright, so what we're looking at right now is the back of the PlayStation 3 and the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now what we want to do is plug in the AV portion of the dedicated PlayStation 3 cable, so that's this end right here, and we're going to go ahead and plug that into the Elgato Game Capture HD. Next you want to plug the other end of the cable to the PlayStation's AV Multi-Out. Now one thing to keep in mind is that even though this is an AV in port, it's custom made by Elgato so it's going to be running at 1080p. Now if you had an Xbox One or an Xbox 360, all you would do is take your HDMI cable, plug it into the HDMI out on the console, and then plug the other end into the HDMI in on the Elgato Game Capture HD. Now for the next step, we're going to go ahead and plug in our USB cable to our Elgato Game Capture and the other end to our PC or Mac. Now this step is the same for all three consoles. So whether you have a PlayStation 3, Xbox One, or Xbox 360, you need to do the same thing. The next step is pretty obvious, but for all consoles, you want to go ahead and plug in your console to the wall. And for Xbox One and 360 users, you're pretty much done with the hardware setup. Now if you're running a PlayStation 3, there's one more step, and that is to hold on the power button on your PlayStation 3 until you hear it beep twice. So there's the second beep. Now on our TV, you want to make sure you're set to the right input, and it should start up. Now from here it's pretty simple. We want to go to our settings section. We'll then scroll down to where it says display settings. Then we'll click on video output settings. We'll scroll upwards to Component D Terminal, so we'll press X on that, press X to change it, and then it'll go ahead and reset itself. Accept it, we'll say yes. We'll select 480, 720, 1080, and then 1080p, and then we'll go ahead and swipe to the right to accept it. And then we'll say yes, as you can see, it's now current resolution at 1080p. Obviously, this is going to be determined by your television set and what it's capable of, but we'll go ahead and press X on yes. We'll press X again, and then we'll hit finish. And now we're pretty much set up on the PlayStation 3, and we can go ahead and set up the software on our PC or Mac. Now one thing you'll notice when you start up the software is that your TV screen is going to go blank or it's going to say weak or no signal like you can see right now. And that's totally normal because we do have to set up the software. Now the software link they give you in the package with the Elgato so it's on the little box and you can download it for free. So once you've downloaded it and installed it you'll have this screen right here which you can see. And what we want to do is select settings here. Now for this particular example, we are using the PlayStation 3, so as input device here, we're going to go ahead and select PlayStation 3, and we're going to go ahead and put input component, that's pretty much the only input we can choose, and you'll see that now the screen has returned on your TV. So then we'll go ahead and click OK, and recording a gameplay is very simple. All we have to do is simply press start recording, and it's going to record everything that happens on screen here. So um, I don't have anything plugged in here. I have pretty much NHL 14, so if we went and started up NHL 14, it would go ahead and it's recording everything that happens right now. Now you do see a little bit of a lag in comparison to the uh, game capture and the TV, and that's totally normal. It's nothing big when it does come out and does render. It's uh, full 1080p HD, and uh, it looks really nice as you can see here. Now if I was finished with my recording, all I would do is basically click on the stop recording right here. And now that it's completed, you can do anything you want with it. You can click on edit. It'll allow you to edit the gameplay right here. As you can see, it's gone through everything. You can press play and play it. And you can see it's not lagging at all. And once you've completed it, you can basically just set it to wherever you want 
Over here, you can share it to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. You can save it into your movies file, upload it to iMovie. So let's go ahead and just put it into our movies folder here. It's gone ahead and saved it. And now we can actually access it in our movie file and even use it in another editing software or cut it up and do whatever we want with it. And then once you've done that, you just upload it to either Twitch or YouTube or wherever you want and you're pretty much done. This is all the same if you're on the Xbox 360, Xbox One, or even the PlayStation 3. And as you could see in the settings section here, uh, basically it did say PlayStation 4, so we know it's coming. And uh, I will be posting a video on that when the PlayStation 4 version is available. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable. If you did, as always, hit that like button and let me know. And if you want to see more videos like this one or have any questions, leave them in the comment box down below. Also, feel free to subscribe. I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday all about tech, how-tos, tips, tricks, unboxings, and reviews. Thanks for watching again, guys. I will see you in the next one.